and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm David. And we're here to talk to you today about concrete, specifically batching concrete. Ah, batching. Mmm, we got a, a question from <laughs> Film Factory. You ready for this question? I think so. Ding! <laughs> Dr. John, great timing. I'm just getting ready to start experimenting with my mix design. Wish me luck. Good, Good luck. luck. Um, and you know the definition of luck. Do you know the definition of luck? Tell me. The definition of luck is where skill meets opportunity. Ah. So I wish you luck, but you don't need it. What would you recommend as a testing batch size, pounds or gallons? P.S. I did deep dive in all your colloidal silica videos. Great info. I want to try that hydrogel. Thanks. Good. Yeah. Yeah, hydrogel's cool. Hydrogels are flipping awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, batch size. So we do pounds, right? Yeah. Um, when you say pounds versus gallons, you're saying weight versus volume. Right. So we normally do a volume in cubic feet for our batch size. There's 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. We design off of a cubic yard using ACI 211.1.91, whatever it is. Whatever, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know why, but I just like knowing those numbers. I know. Uh, so ACI 211, we design per cubic batch or cubic yard, and then we drop it down normally much lower than 27 cubic feet here in the lab. Highest we've done is around uh, six cubic feet. Yeah, on that bigger mixer, yeah. And the lowest we'll do is around 0 .04875 cubic feet, which is for the ASR test. I see. Yeah. So, I mean, it just depends on what you're testing. If you're doing a, you know, four by eight cylinders or six by twelves, you have to do the minimum that ASTM C162 or is that ASTM C39 stipulates, which is one cubic foot. Yeah, now John, what about grout versus concrete? Right, and with grout, see that depends. It de you know, sometimes we use the big hoe bar or the five gallon b bucket mixer, and then sometimes we use the little hoe bar. Right, so, that's what I'm thinking about. We've got the, the bread type mixers right. for, the, for the grout, mm -hmm. and then we've got the one the bucket mixer, and then we start stepping up in the one and a half cubic right. foot, and then the six to nine cubic feet and then we do field trials. So and with, with those, with the the six cubic feet in the field trials, we're normally either making a lot of samples or really big samples. Yeah, that's true, but there's also the test about scaling up. Sure, you sure, so that's true. It's, that's true. It's a little different mixing a foot to a foot and a half versus mixing 10 yards. Right. I mean, that, that scale up, <laughs> that you, have, you have to make sure that scale up works. Scalability is one of the most important things and something that we specialize in too. Right. So I, I, I totally agree. And, you know, with grouts, you can do them normally. You know, with the great thing about grouts, you just need a small mix, 2,500 right. grams. Right. right? Um, and then you get a lot of information for that, but that's not concrete. Now, if you're looking at grouts to do A to B on what the technology does and the trend, that's great. Right. But if you actually need concrete, then you need to stick to the specifications at a minimum. Funny enough, when you do the CCRL tests, they don't require one cubic foot. I believe it's 0.85 cubic feet. Yeah, but if you're going to drag out the mixer, the one of cube, the one and a half cubic foot mixer, I mean, you know, it's silly to make two or three cylinders. I mean, oh, sure. I mean, come on, let's, yeah. let's yeah. make the larger batch and let's, more data. Better science. Better science. Yeah. Let's, let's make some more samples. And that's normally what we do. Sure. We always crank out an extra, you know, 10, 15 percent, sometimes 25 percent more samples. Because you're going to throw the concrete out anyway, you might as well have a greater data set. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of work to do the design, a lot of work sure. to prepare the aggregates to spec, you know, do all the drying and all the flipping oh and gosh. all that. And you, you have to be very consistent with that. It's not just about your batch size and, you know, your dry materials we do weights and your, our liquid materials we do in volume, but it's also being consistent on how you process the material right. and store the material. Absolutely. And then, you know, with 211, you have to account for all the water, all the liquids coming from any admixtures. Sure. You have to balance all that out, balance back up to a yard, proportion it back down to the size you're mixing. You know, one thing that David said years ago, was even a thimble full of water in a concrete batch can change up the mix design. Yeah, I think I actually said shot glass, but <laughs> shot glass. <laughs> but you know, I was trying to clean it up for our viewers. Yeah, yeah. You know, shot glass works. Shot glass works. Yeah, but but I think the point is well taken that you know that much additional liquid right. in that one cubic foot 
it's a noticeable difference. Noticeable difference. Right? Noticeable difference. So not only do you have to be consistent with your batch sizes, and it's a great question, and we went a little bit deeper with it. Right. Uh, but also it's consistent with your processing and your storing of materials. Yep. Yeah, so what we'll do is there's a link right above us that goes to some of these videos that we've done for our mixes and for the different batch sizes that we've gone after. We're actually going to be doing some mixes today using a, a, a five-gallon bucket mixer um, for smaller sample sizes. And this is something that we, I don't know how much you love the five gallon bucket mixer, but it gets you that mixing energy that you need and it's very easy to clean up. And or a throw away. Or a throw away, <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you, so. Uh, so yeah, I recall you did uh, concrete math to 11. I mean, you, right. you, we've got some videos on basic mix design. Sure. So yeah, yeah. You can link to those. Yeah, they're fun. And then also the fast track payment. Those are fun right. too. So anyway, thanks for joining us today. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go Concrete! Be asshole. <laughs>